Yeah. And what about Depeche Mode? You hate them, though, right? No. You don't? No. What's your favorite Depeche Mode song? Oh, enjoy the silence. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right, that one? Like life. Remember that song? Mm, bonk, no. bonk, bonk, no. bing, bonk. Master it. Bonk, bonk, That's bonk, bing, bonk. Seven. Yeah. That's not that older. Son. Actually, I like the one, uh, Never Let Me Down. The one, uh. You like the late stuff. He, well, it was a good mix. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Right? Like life. Like life. You're the old Vince Clark stuff. All the. How about Frankie Goes to Hollywood? You like them? Uh, they they kind of left me cold. What? Well, that was some kind of party. I don't know. I was late to that party. And you never heard? Uh, you ever hear their cover of uh, Born to Run? I think I did. They did a version of Born to Run. It's great. Yeah? It's seriously great. You like the good stuff, Mystery Caller. I salute you. Why, thank you. And how about the Pet Shop Boys? Do you like them? Actually, yeah. Um, some of those cl- the collaboration they did with, uh, with Dusty, Dusty Springfield. Springfield. Right? Yeah. How about that one song when he's like, When I look back upon my life. Remember that? It's always yeah. with a sense of shame. I've always been the one to blame. That guy. He was a good dude. Yeah. Tenant. That's the guy. The guy who was Doctor Who took his name. Wait, the guy from Pet Shop Boys was Doctor Who? No. No, the... No. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's what I would do if I was running the Doctor Who franchise. You have both... Suddenly, the next Doctor, it's the Pet Shop Boys. He's like split in Why half. Not? Has there ever been a Doctor Who split in half? Dudio loves uh, Doctor Who, and I yeah. refuse to talk about it with him. And he's always like mentioning to me, like, "Hey, what about the dot?" Du- du- like, and he always wears the scarf, like, uh, like the one guy. Remember that one guy wore the scarf? That one Doctor Baker. Yeah, yeah Tom Baker. Right. He's a, he has a Dudio has a scarf like that. And I refuse to talk about. The- but what if all of a sudden out of the TARDIS came Neil Tennant and Chris Lowe, right? Was that who the Pet Shop Boys were, right? Exactly, and that, that would, would be Major Camp, and it would sell. That would be the greatest Doctor Who. Then I would be into Doctor Who. If suddenly they came out of the TARDIS and they were just like, and they were just like, I could leave you if I tried. I could love you, say goodbye, and I could... And left to my own devices, I probably would. That'd be the best Doctor Who ever. I'm pitching that. How do we get that going? Sold. Or sold. I might recommend you stay off Twitter. Right? Got Andy Zax is saying he wants Soft Cell to be the, uh, he wants them. Remember that one creep, the not, not Mark Almond? Remember the other guy's mustache, Howard Ball? In, uh, oh, yeah. That guy that, with that thin Bud Abbott mustache? Yeah. Oh, those guys seem like creeps. No, we were man. listening to uh, what was it? They seemed uh, like great. That seemed like top shelf preverts. Those two dudes in uh, Soft Cell. Uh, we were Remember that song? Say hello, Sex wave dwarf. Goodbye. Remember that song, Sex Dwarf? Yeah. Yeah, that's troubling stuff. Yeah. They had that one album where there's like I'm going down on the subway. Remember that? Actually, I don't think I had that what? rotation. You got to check that out. You like the good stuff, I mystery caller. I like you. Thank you, sir. You have a great night. I feel unburdened, and I thank you. Good. Forget this bum who banned you from the Alphaville Twitter. Don't worry about it. You can move on, onward and upward, right? Thank you, sir. You've you been take a lot care. of help. Okay. Good night. I will. Bye. I tell you. We got to figure this thing out to get the two pet shop boys to replace uh, the guy from Doctor, the current Doctor Who, who everybody says it's a flop. That this guy's the doctor. He was the guy, um, <clears throat> Malcolm Tucker. Nobody likes him. It would revive the whole Doctor Who franchise if all of a sudden he's like, "I got to turn into do- and I got to go back in the TARDIS," right? And he goes back in. 
and then all of a sudden Neil Tennant comes out. That'd be the coolest thing ever. It's like, I've got the brains, you've got the looks, let's make lots of money. And they're fighting, right? I'm telling you, man. We got we to gotta make that happen. We got to fix the Doctor Who franchise. A lot of good Doctor Whos we could do. telling you we'll fix it we'll fix don't worry england tom's on his way i'll fix the doctor who franchise we'll straight we'll write the ship or if all of frankie goes to hollywood came out as doctor who and we got like a shirt that they all wear like like one of those like five person shirts and all their heads are sticking out Nasher, Holly Johnson, Paul Rutherford. But no, Paul Rutherford. Yeah, uh, which was the guy from uh, the Ooh Yeah, Ooh Yeah, that guy. We'll get them in. Yeah, Marky Smith would be a good Doctor Who. Maybe that's a topic we should do some week. Replace who should be the next Doctor Who. Who should be the final Doctor Who? Who, like, would end the franchise? Matt Berry would be a good Doctor Who. Well, I do like him just coming out as Doctor Who would be pretty amazing. Right, Mike? Mike doesn't know what he's talking. Mike goes, yeah. Yeah. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. We're coming for you, England. The best show will fix Doctor Who. In the meantime, let's go back to the bowling alley. Best show, you're on the air. Welcome to the bowling alley. Good. I brought my soft pretzel and liquid cheese. Good move. Good move. Do you think Ringo Starr would be a good Doctor Who? I don't think so. No. I think there's one Doctor who kind of looked like Rowan Atkinson, and I think it would have been better if it was just Rowan Atkinson. I like that one pervert Doctor Who, who, like, everyone hates. There's this one Doctor Who who wore, like, rainbow clothes, and he's everyone's least favorite Doctor Who. He's like the Jimmy Seville Doctor Who. And, uh, yeah, he uh, he's my favorite. Is he the sixth Doctor? Studio? He's number six. Ringo Starr is Doctor Who. An important <laughs> message. I will no longer be fighting Daleks as of October 20th. Do not send any more Daleks. <laughs> Do. I will not fight them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love. Yeah. Peace and love. Peace and love. I will not be fighting any more Daleks or... What are what are some other Doctor Who monsters? Swamp monster, right? What is swamp monsters? Robot men. What are the ones? I will not be fighting any more mannequins that come to life. Because <laughs> this Doctor Who, look, I know more about this than I let on. First Doctor, by all rights, Doctor Who should have gone under with that first Doctor. It's like a seventy-year-old grouch. As the first, that should have been just canceled right away. This guy's terrible. Right? Then yeah, they go he was just get like this hanging out with his granddaughter. Yeah, then they go get this guy who looks like uh he's got like uh he looks like if John Hamm was melting, he's like the second Doctor Who. Then they go get this weird guy who's like a, a silver haired James Bond. He's driving like a sports car all over the place. Because Doctor Who got locked on a military base. And there was like some guy, I cannot give you the keys to the TARDIS. Then they go get Scarfs, whatever his name is. What was his name? <laughs> Tom Baker. He shows up. Then they get the guy uh, from, uh, of like they get like some clean cut. He looks like a Richard Chamberlain type. Then they get the the pervert Doctor Who, the one in the rainbow suspenders. Right? Am I tracking this right, Dudio? 
Can, they got like a Richard Chamberlain type dude. I mean, then they got the pervert. Then I think, uh, then they tried to get, uh, wasn't there like a, uh, who was next? What if Ricky Gervais was the- Doctor Who? How about Ricky Gervais as Doctor Who? Would that end the franchise? Well, it's, it's, you talk a lot more about God. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I took the TARDIS into the thing. There's no God. Okay. <laughs> Doctor Who. Thank you. He figures out this soul fairy tale. Doctor Who's bumming everybody out. Somebody in the chat said Andrew Dice Clay is Doctor Who. That'd be pretty amazing. Right? Would his wife be his companion? Just picture the tar... Yeah, that'd be great. Picture this. The Pet Shop Boys were Doctor Who. They go back on the thing. uh, Back in the TARDIS. And then he regenerates. Isn't there only like one regeneration left for this guy too? How are they going to keep that going? Huh. I guess they're boxed in. There's no way of cheating the rules on that. Yeah, no, no franchise has ever just rewritten everything to make it happen again. And all of a sudden, out of the mist, the TARDIS doors fly open. Who's the next Doctor Who? And all of a sudden, you see this leather jacket, and it says Dice on the back. And he comes out, and he goes. The doc, he's like, look... This trip in the TARDIS could take ten minutes, or it could take an hour. Back, get it. <laughs> and then his assistant would be like the wife. She'd be like, "I thought we could go fight the Cybermen." <laughs> Look at some of these Doctor Who's. We got to do this is a whole show, right? What do you think about that, Mike? Mike's against it. Mike hates. Mike hates anything fantastic. You gotta watch some of these Doctor Who's, Mike. I try. I've tried so many times. I get these Doctor Who DVDs I bought and I watch it and it's just like, holy moly, this is some of the worst stuff I've ever seen. You don't, I'm, I'm telling you. You'll watch some of this stuff and you'll feel like transported back to being a kid. In New Jersey, trapped on a Saturday. It feels like it's Saturday at 6 p.m. And you got no life. And the only thing on PBS is Doctor Who. NBC? No, that that was Uncle Floyd. Uncle Floyd would be a good Doctor Who. That that would be the ultimate final Doctor Who. Uncle Floyd comes out of the TARDIS with Oogie. Looney Skip Rooney. Best show you're on the air.